Hello everyone, this is I Rock, and you're watching my YouTube channel, I Rock RC. Today I'll be doing a first look at the DX4S radio control or transmitter um, by Spectrum. Uh, basic uh, four channel uh, surface radio control or transmitter. Um, this particular model, um, I guess they're having a promotion that you know it comes with a free extra um, four channel receiver. Um, this model come ha uh, has the capabilities of active vehicle con control. Um, I guess basically more precise steering, and also comes with telemetry. <laughs> so uh, you know, let's, let's go uh, take a look at what's in the box. So basically, um, when you first open the box, the very first thing um, you always see, um, bam, the instruction manual um, tells you, I guess, you know, it's, it's good to uh, read over the instruction manual uh, so that way you can get familiar with the features and, um, and the controls um, with your transmitter or any product that you uh, purchase. Uh, I guess on the back they have decals or decals, um, depends what part of the world you come from. So you know, that's the very first thing you see is the instruction manual. Uh, it's a good idea to, uh, you know, to review or read um, what's in the instruction manual. But for now we'll put it on the side. Okay, pretty neat packaging. Um, I, I know I call this the uh, a carton packaging because it basically looks like a you know <laughs> like an a carton packaging. Um, so when you open the box and you take out take out the instruction manual and the on top of the a carton packaging, uh, you have your radio control. Um, basically, you have your box um, that is full of accessories. Your, like I said, your uh, free channel, uh, your free channel, <laughs> your free receiver, um, or four channel receiver. Basically, it's a SR four one zero spectrum receiver, two point four gigahertz, and then finally your transmitter or radio control. So. Here's the uh, SR410 4 channel 2.4 gigahertz uh, receiver. Um, it's you know basically a, a basic or sim uh, basic or simple receiver. You have your bind, your steering, your throttle, auxiliary run, and auxiliary two um, inputs for your plugins. So you know it's always good to have an extra receiver. Wrong, just in case you uh, damage or fry your, uh, you know, primary receiver. And in the box, okay, in the box you have your uh, pine plug. To bind your receiver or uh, to your radio control, your transmitter, and then you have your on and off switch. Um, I'm not too sure who uses the on and off switch uh, in this day and age because, particularly, uh, when you plug in your ESC, um, it powers your receiver and it turns. I mean, you turn on ESC, you know, it turns on the receiver because it's powered by the ESC. When you're digging deeper, you have your uh, two extra. Um, hand grips for your radio control. Um, I think one is a re direct replacement, and the second one is a uh, different grip, uh, just in case you want to change the feel or style of the grip. And then you have two, four AA batteries, Which is pretty cool. Um, that includes double A battery, so you know you're you're good to go uh, right out of the box. You also have an extra bind plug just in case you lose 
you know, one of your buying plugs, you always have an extra one. So don't lose two because you won't have another buying plug. <laughs> and then, and then they also include in the box is a double-sided um, tape or sticky tape by 3M. And then, last but not least, um, which is your, um, I would say this is your primary or default receiver um, for this particular radio control transmitter. Um, this one is a four channel um, SRS4210 model. Um, basically, when you look at it from the bottom to the top, you have your steering, your throttle, auxiliary one, auxiliary two, data, uh, disable and bind and battery uh, inputs. Um, I guess this is the telemetry um, receiver for the radio control. Basically what it does is uh, collect data um, from the radio control and, um, and feeds it to the transmitter. So this is the SRS4210 receiver. And finally on to the bad boy. There she goes. <laughs> so, bad. Ain't she pretty? Here's the DX4S uh, radio control or transmitter by Spectrum. Um, the first time I saw this particular model, um, the first thing that came to mind. Um, it looked like a shark, um, basically because of the shark fin antenna, the 2.4 gigahertz antenna, and the flat um, know, nose, I guess, front, uh, which reminded me of a hammerhead shark. You know, when I think of a shark, I think of a predator, uh, a predator that's ready to attack its prey. So um, when you hold this transmitter, <laughs> You know, you, you feel all pumped up, you know, you're ready to go, you're ready to uh, attack your uh, prey, you know, devour it, uh, you know, you know, let's go RC, let's go, let's, you know, let's go attack that track, let's go attack that, um, you know, trail, attack that hill, that rock, you know, and let's go do it, man, let's, 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 let's just RC, let's, let's go crawling, let's, you know, let's go bash, let's go racing, um, you know, that's, that's what I think of, or, you know, first thing that comes to mind, um, the way, or that's the way I feel, you know, I'm ready to RC, I'm ready to hit that track, you know, ready to hit that trail, ready to, you know, ready to just, you know, you know, you know motivate, determine, let's do it, you know, let's go RC. So, um, this is how it feels um, or looks while holding the radio uh, transmitter. So, basically what you have is your steering wheel, you know, which turns the RC or rig uh, left to right. Uh, here's your trigger for your throttle. Uh, brake neutral or uh, reverse and then you have your trims for your throttle and your steering and your third channel fourth channel um, I'm assuming this is the three position switch and then you have this button here which is marked with an F <laughs> um, this is the reason why this video is called first look because this is my very first look at this transmitter and believe it or not this is my very first spectrum radio control or transmitter you know i was born and raised um futaba you know i like futaba uh, you know they're very good uh radio controls or transmitters very durable they last a long time and you know i haven't had experience had i haven't had any bad experience with futaba so you know you know i fix something when it, is it broken but you know it's always good to always try something different. Um, that way, you know, you know, you know which is better, or have a general idea which is um, fits your needs or your lifestyle, or you know, fits your own personality, or what you know, you know basically what's best for you. Um, you know, pretty excited to uh, finally get this transmitter or get a Spectrum uh, transmitter or radio control. Uh, you know, Spectrum is, has been around for a very long time, and a lot of people use Spectrum. And a lot of people prefer Spectrum, um, so um, 
yeah, pretty cool. But yeah, so I'm not too sure what this F button is for. I'm, I'm assuming it's for the LCD screen to control, you know, that cursor or the arrow, you know, to get to certain functions or menus. Um, you have your on and off switch here or your power button. And then you have your, you know, your battery tray right on the bottom, like I said, or your battery compartment. Basically takes four double A's or a two cell LiPo 24, uh, 2400 milliamps. <laughs> so this is the sport model and not the race model. Um, you know, if you wanted to get the race model, it probably you know, it costs you a little bit extra. But, you know, I just wanted a sport model because, you know, it'd probably be just good enough to do what, you know, what I wanted to do. So, that is basically the features and the controls on this um, Spectrum DX4S um, transmitter. Um, I see here it says SD. Maybe you can install an SD card and, you know, to record, you know, if, um, you know, the telemetry, uh, the RC, and give you feedback on, uh, you know, basically what your RC is, you know, capable of doing. That way you can have a general idea, um, you know, how you control your RC. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool transmitter. You know, it looks pretty rad, you know, pretty wicked, pretty sick, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, this is my very first Spectrum transmitter. Uh, you know, the reason why this video is called First Look because this is the very first time I ever <laughs> held, looked at a uh, Spectrum DX4S uh, radio transmitter. I know many of you out there probably already have this transmitter. Um, if you want, go ahead and comment below to uh, you know, tell me if uh, this is a good value, you know, good purchase. If you like this transmitter, if you dislike this transmitter, uh, the pros and cons, you know your opinions. Uh, you know, it, you know, I would you know, definitely appreciate it. If you, yeah, if you definitely comment below and tell me what you think of this transmitter, uh, you know, I have no idea. You know, basically, I'm a newbie or knob with this transmitter. Um, you know, in life, you learn as you go along. You know, with, with experience. Um, so you know. Pretty excited. I'm pretty excited to see what this transmitter is capable of. Um, uh, capable, capable, capable of. Capable of. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So that 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 is the first look at the DX4S radio transmitter or radio control transmitter by Spectrum. Uh, once again, I wanted to tell everyone, mahalo for watching my videos, and aloha, and shaka. Zoom in for a closer look. Alright, hello guys. <laughs>